Hey there, for um, my SSD, I have options here. So one option is, I actually might end up just putting them both in and working with them and seeing how it works because this is four terabytes. Uh, this is the uh, Western Digital um, S850X. Uh, it's a pretty good SSD, uh, pretty speedy. The other one is this uh, Optane drive. It's a 50, let me see, I think it's a 5600X or 50, uh, I forget the model number. P5800X, yeah, P5800X. So, um, pretty speedy, low latency. I have the feeling that if I'm uh, working with data and such, machine learning, doing a lot of reads and writes, so I probably would favor this uh, as opposed to this for maybe more intense workloads like training and stuff like that. So I'm probably gonna use a combination of maybe both of these, maybe store the data that I may be working or if I need large data sets and then use this one for actually processing. Uh, and this is a, a PCIe adapter. Um, to, uh, it adapts from a, a U2, U.2 connection um, to a PCIe, I think it's a PCIe 4 uh, for this card. So anyways, that's kind of the thinking. That's, that's the two drives I'm going to put into this machine. Uh, I may favor taking this one out if I want to put more video cards. Depends on how the training goes um, and how many I can get away with uh, working fine. So yeah, so th this is the uh, this is where I'm gonna put these in, and then um, I guess I'll set up a, set up an OS uh, initially. I think um, I probably might put two of these in, and be able to swap back and forth between like a Windows versus a, um, a Linux setup, um, and then be able to kind of dual boot maybe. So let's go with that. All right, here's the uh, Optane drive. Uh, I decided to put it into the last slot here because I think I need the other slots for the GPU and um, NVLink and SLI. I have to see, I have to figure, fiddle with that a little bit, see if that's a good place for it. And those are the two four terabyte uh, Western digital drives. I'm gonna put them in place. Uh, all I have to do is pull these um, protective uh, covers off of the thermal pads here and place those um, heat sinks back on top of that. And there you can see the uh, heat sinks put on top of the, the two SSDs. And then again, this is where the Optane is going to live and sit, um, at least for now. Hey there, I hit a snag and I uh, learned a, a couple of, uh, I guess, useful things. I found out that my BIOS was out of date. Uh, so I updated the BIOS uh, from the original version to the new version. And um, that kind of helped things. But the, the, the symptom, I guess, the, the first problem I had was that um, when I used the Optane drive and connected it to the seventh port here, um, it seemed to conflict with the the graphics card and it would just kind of hang the motherboard and not be able to um, even install Ubuntu. Um, so two things that I had to do was um, uh, that USB drive right there, I had to actually connect it to these USB ports right here. And same thing with my mouse and, and my keyboard. Uh, for some odd reason, these all will work. Uh, these do not at all. Um, and then I also found out that when I took the Optane drive and I put it in the first slot and then the GPU or the graphics card in the second slot, um, things would work as well. And then I can actually install Ubuntu. Um, let's see here. So that would be just so I can install uh, Linux. But then... The next thing that I had a problem with was why did these ports not become active even after installation? And I found there's like 
it's in the instruction manual, something pretty obscure, um, and just reading online. But there is, I guess, these two switches right here. And these are actually uh, related to the BMC and the out-of-band uh, connectivity. So the out-of-band makes it so that way you can remote to this, this motherboard. Um, and then if, even if you want to and it's powered off, you can actually power around the, 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 the computer. Um, the, the switch over here on this side uh, makes it so that way you can kind of turn off the feature. Uh, this switch right here is a VGA connectivity where um, you can well, connect a VGA monitor and then be able to uh, look at the out-of-band connect uh, uh, console uh, instead of having to kind of remote to this, this, this um, um, out-of-band control. You flip the switch over to this way, it will actually turn off the, um, the VGA feature. And what's interesting is that the VGA feature, once you do that, uh, these USB-C ports work. Um, and then there seems to be a lot less conflict, I guess, on the PCIe slots. So I am able to then take this uh, Optane adapter, put it into the seventh slot, and things will just work. Um, so even after the BIOS update, you still have to hit that switch uh, to be able to kind of have these ports enabled in, in Ubuntu and Linux. Um, the other thing I decided to do is, I, I think I said I wanted to use all seven of these slots. So I ended up finding an adapter. Um, this is kind of an NVMe M.2 adapter. You can kind of see it over there. Connects over you know, to this cable over here and to the Optane drive. And then uh, that's a U.2 connectivity. And then it has uh, extra, I guess, supplemental power right here. Uh, just a SATA uh, power connection right there, and then that powers the Optane drive. So uh, that way, I can kind of keep using the, uh, I guess the, there's like three NVMe slots. Um, I have two SN850X uh, Western Digital drives there, the four terabytes. Um, I think I was going to plan to maybe install Windows on one and use another drive for uh, just extra storage. Uh, since I'm going to probably maybe more long-term storage. But I did want the Optane for kind of the faster um, processing, a lot of writing, reading and writing uh, when I'm creating data models and things like that. So anyways, yeah, uh, big problem, I guess, just make sure the BIOS is updated and make sure you flip that one switch up there uh, for the, the um, VGA and it looks like everything in the motherboard works so far then. Uh, so, yeah, that was a little bit of a <laughs> problem that I had to figure out and solve. But after that, hopefully uh, everything else will run smoothly.